the Galaxy Expedition t um, Hey yo everyone, this is a Happy Anime Cafe Manager here with another Let's Play for po Pokemon Le Legends Arceus. Okay, Komodo's telling me the Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers who must do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond Cl and Pearl Clans, understand? Join me downstairs, Victor. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Ah, oh, good, you're already here. Professor Le Levitin, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Victor, I understand you've been re requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's, or Cleaver's frenzied state, but as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a, a mighty thing, not invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far th trickier opponent than even the those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside the bound once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. Very well, then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl Clan revered their nobles because they believe these Pokemon served their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in the locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Victor, we need to speak with you. Listen, the rift in space-time seems like connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must have just been swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you. Oh, amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver, quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamant. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to, to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be that Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this, get this under control too. It's hard for them to come right out and ask. Those of the Galaxy team, of all people, for help. The truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a very sim have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mounts, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's a certainly bl bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've got to share Hizui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at the Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon's a brilliant child, but also a bit... Well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know? He'll tell you about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. He certainly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Admin and I weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you best start by visiting his abode. Our new Heights Camp would be a handy place for getting out toward Grand Tree Arena and per you should stop by the pastures too. You want to choose the best Pokemon to bring.
find yourself unable to pick up materials you come across. Satchel always seems full. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Okay, that's a guy. Okay, finally. I was looking for this dude back. You could carry around even more than in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I could teach you if you like. What do you say? I like your initiative. My teaching fee is a D100%, alright? Then lend me your ear a moment. You've made space to keep one more kind of item in your satchel. And that's all there is to it. You'll see how much more you can fit in by packing things rightly. If you want it, be able to carry you more things. There's more I could teach you. What do you say? Okay, now there's, now this dude's just hiking up the prices. It went from increments of 100 to increments of 500. Okay, now it's in increments of a thousand. Okay, so whatever you see here was my initial amount. Five, ten, twelve. So I only made like twelve extra pockets. Well, it's worth it. What about upgrading me to two stars? Mm, you made progress. It seems you have earned yourself one star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of the second star in the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use Feather Balls. Pokemon of up to level 30 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. 
The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you need for crafting. Obtain recipe for craft crafting feather balls. One Africa and one sky tumble stone. I got about four of those. Crafting super potions. One potion, one pep up plant. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise it higher in the ranks. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself one star. Alright, so I'm up to... Yeah, so all that grinding was not a waste of time. With this, you have officially attained the rank of the third star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Great Balls. Pokemon up to level 40 will pay you. Have this as well. It is a further recipe you'll need for crafting. Recipe for Great Balls. Apricorn, Iron Chunk, and Tumble Stone. Yeah, I'll check out the side quest in a bit. For now, I want to save my progress now that I've come so far. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having a survey core out and have about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know? Supporting your, you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Could be used to restore 100 HP to a single Pokemon. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Okay, so the Grand Tree Arena is pretty far. So I thought I was going to tr trigger a cutscene or something, but... Nope, that's it. Okay, bother some bee doofs. Yeah, I do not have an organized team.
fucking bitch. You haven't caught very many of them, huh? I mean, Eevee's able to evolve, but what is it supposed to evolve into? Yeah, there's someone with a new request. Those darn Bidoof. I hear you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job that's perfect for a higher achiever like you. See, I need help researching. Are those pesky Bidoof again? I look away for one second, the little scoundrels waltz right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. <coughs> How can I face Captain Zizu like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Samugi. Just catch the Bidu, then everything will be fine. But still, three Bidus is a lot. Two more than I could think I can handle on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea. I heard it, that these particular pests get easily distracted if other Bidus are nearby and up laying their guard down around humans. So if you bring a Bidu to draw their attention, I could seize the chance to catch the little trouble makers while off perfect plan. If we combine forces, we'll get all three caught in no time. Not what I was expecting. Well, I'm gonna try picking the best Bidu, so wish me luck. Thanks for watching everyone. Till next time to be continued, baby.